X something actually is that. <laughs> this is wild. I actually saw this recently. Uh, no, I saw it earlier today on the Friday the Kids subreddit, I think. And legitimately, I thought it was a Photoshop. I honestly thought this was a Photoshop. I was legitimately baffled and shocked by this. Like, oh my God. Look at this. The comedy mothership has booked none other than Mr. Hater himself, fucking Eric Griffin. Eric Griffin right the most bitter man in comedy has got a flipping weekend booked at the comedy mothership and i find this hilarious personally myself because i think i met i mentioned on a stream one time how it was funny that when on one show i think it was a golden hour he kind of was acting like he didn't know what the comedy mothership was like he was being a little bit cunty about it he's like oh have you guys heard about that new comedy mothership place like he was being a little bit of a prick about it. i was like oh what's happening there is he a little bit annoyed that he hasn't got a spot to play there himself but then maybe he didn't know maybe in the background things were happening with his agent maybe he was a little bit angsty and he made that comment because he felt like they weren't getting back to him in time but it's just interesting that now all of a sudden it changed so quickly and here he is posing smiling ear to ear right <laughs> you never see him smile at his ear to ear because he knows he's you know he's boosted his profile he's now got himself flipping you know booked at the most important comedy club in america right now and according to those guys they're definitely going to tell you the most important comedy club in the world all this sort of nonsense but clearly this is a big deal and a real big look for him when you consider that for the most part it felt like rogan was going out of his way to kind of ignore that whole side of LA and those kind of comedians and really, you know, anyone associated with Brendan, Chris Alea obviously isn't getting a look in there. He was there recently. He didn't get a look in. Brendan Shaw hasn't been given a heads up and told to go and perform there. So this is a big look for Eric Griffin. So a big up and congratulations to Eric Griffin. Even though he's a supreme hater, it's still quite cool to see that he got booked um, regardless of his hating ways and definitely shows that Rogan is kind of a good guy, right? Rogan's a good guy because he doesn't care that you know Eric can be a little bit um a little bit sour and a bit of a mood killer and a bit of a bit of hater and stuff he just cares that he's good at stand-up and from what I've been seeing online and stuff reading on the reddit and other places um Eric Griffin allegedly his stand-up comedy is pretty good he may not be the greatest personality on podcasts he may come across a little bit you know unlikable online and stuff on his streams banning people in his chat for asking too many questions and whatnot what i've heard but allegedly on stage when he's actually doing stand-up people have said he's actually quite good which is encouraging so it's good to see that rogan doesn't care about all that stuff he focuses on stand-up if he thinks you're good at stand-up and you're cool and you're whatever he's gonna put you on on stage and this is a pretty good look for him considering you know he's not the favorite within the la scene he's kind of on that kind of weird level where he's you know i think he's got that kind of like smudge of like being associated with brendan and crystalia it's a bit strange so it's a good look for him that he's kind of got that so congratulations to him the only thing that's weird is that it's not on their instagram account so that was a post from flipping reddit that i grabbed but if you scroll on their instagram the Eric Griffin post isn't on there. So I'm not too sure if they deleted it. If it was on there, maybe they've changed their mind. And it's, I don't know what's happened. But the post that is real, I think so anyway. Unless somebody designed it and made it all fake together. But it's not here. I can't see it. Well, where is it? So I don't know. Maybe That's the only thing I'm a little bit concerned about for him. Is it a fake thing? Is it a troll? I'm not too sure because the whole post is there. Eric Griffin hasn't posted on his account either. Last time I checked, he hasn't got it on his own Instagram, and which is weird because you'd imagine he'd want to be blowing it up. So he doesn't have it on his own Instagram either. So I don't know what's happening there. I don't know if this is a if it's a troll, if it's meant to be there or not. But regardless, anyway, congratulations to him. It's a big look, and hopefully he's able to play there soon. Hopefully he's able to play there soon. So big up Eric Griffin for that one. It's good to see. It is good to see. Anyway, moving on from that one, let's get rid of some of these flipping tabs because my computer is crying. So we can give it time to breathe and shit. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. <clears throat> cool. And let's get rid of this. And let's also say, what else you want to check out here? Oh, let's check out here. The comedy mothership. Bloody hell, mate. The tickets the tickets oh hoo, hoo. they are selling like hotcakes 
they are selling like hotcakes. Honestly, Rogan must be making a fucking killing at this club because I heard someone mention it. I forgot, maybe it was Brendan mentioned it, sold out dates, but the dates are sold out so far in advance. It's insane. You've got here an Ari show. Um, Ari's reading. Okay, that's a, that's a funny title <clears throat> because if I'm not mistaken, wasn't this um, storytelling show owned by Com the Comedy Central or something, right? That's the whole beef behind that, right? They kind of try to kick him off there and take it for themselves. I forgot the law. Anyway, um, it's funny that he named it Irish Affairs renamed comedy storytelling show, sorry. So that obviously is there, sold out. Joe Rogan and Friends is sold out. Wow, Derek Poston's show. And um, um, es how's your name say? Eshan Ahmad, the two guys who used to help um, flipping Brendan Schaub writing his comedy have got a sold out show at flipping rogan's club on a fucking wednesday absolutely crazy brother that's gonna hurt brendan a little bit these guys were kind of like his interns a little bit if you think about it they were the ones helping punch up his jokes this guy was helping to do some of the jokes and the script writing for king and the sting if you'd believe that yes they used to write scripts for king and the sting so that's flipping crazy wow sold out yeah april 5th sold out they got a roast battle happening, sold out. Whitney Cummings and friends, all four dates sold out. Shit. Roast battle sold out. Roast battle's not sold out. Kill Tony sold out. Um, Harlan Williams performing with friends, I'm assuming. No, oh, Harlan Williams is a fat man. His one's just got announced, so those are still available. Kill Tony. Both of the Kill Tonys are sold out. Mama Mia. Eric Griffin's ones are still there. May dates sold out oh my god they must be making fucking bank in there mate imagine may sold out july sold out yo august sold <laughs> fuck me yeah exactly shares kelly sold out for the next three to five years yo don't get me wrong. A part of me thinks most likely Rogan has spent fucking money on this place, like big boy coin, because Rogan isn't a kind of guy who strikes me as somebody who kind of skimps and scrapes and cuts corners. He gets the best of everything. He's the kind of guy that gets the best. Like if he goes to like, he's the kind of guy, you know, when you go to Apple on a MacBook store and you want to select a new MacBook to buy and you buy it and you try to select the one that's got the cheapest price at the end. I feel like Rogan's the type of person that just puts everything the max, everything at the bottom, the max, the, the best option of everything. Best processor, the best hard drive, best screen, everything. All the accessories and just, you know what I mean? Fully loaded. So for sure, this club cost him a lot of money to get right. But the good thing about doing that sort of stuff, when you, when you get stuff right the first time, you don't need to keep improving it. So over time, within a year or two, You'd imagine he'd probably make back any money he's invested into it and this stuff will start to make money or break even. That's a good thing. So he put in a lot of capital in between in the, in the beginning, which I don't think every person can do because it's going to cost a lot to set these things up. But in the end, it will end up kind of paying dividends because you'd imagine um, because the quality is so high, um, who is booking, the fame, of course, that helps and shit. But just a club overall in terms of putting it up and specking it out, that eventually this will kind of come back and pay dividends. But this is flipping crazy, bro. They're selling out tickets like months in advance shit 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 and now they've got that bar open as well that they're doing yo it's going up over there in the comedy store man let me actually refresh this and see what this what they're saying in terms of the story that bar's open also like it's gonna go crazy over there man it's gonna go crazy over there um i'm really looking forward to visiting one day um no time soon because flipping tickets to the states are still crazy expensive man the days of me going to fucking new york for 300 quid are way 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 gone man i think even my la ticket i booked for in 2017 or whatever it was i went there was like 400 they're so expensive like 600 quid like fuck me yeah um what you call it we're living in shitty times in it but yeah let's see what they're saying so far but yeah they've got a new bar open it's looking ram based on the pictures look at this picture here of tony hinchcliffe the room is absolutely ram jammer wall to wall with flipping human beings there celebrating going crazy happy to see tony hinchcliffe so some of them are maybe on their knees smelling his ass why not look at that absolute ram absolute killer 
God damn, this lad's a unit, isn't it? Oh, that's a guy from um, Are You Garbage, right? I forgot his name. What's his dude's name? He's a comedian from Are You Garbage. Shit, he looks a lot bigger when he's standing up, isn't it? Fuck me. But yeah, all right, cool. It looks busy. It's packed. The pictures are pretty cool. These are doing great. But yeah, that's his name. H Foley. Cool, man. Oh, look at that back bar. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that's pretty cool, isn't it? Let's not lie. That's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool bar. That looks like some real leather shit as well. Again, they've got the fucking brick wall shit that all comedy clubs are obsessed with. This great picture of Mitzi Shaw in the background there. Yo, incredible. Me like you. Do you buy that story that Rogan, that that um Bre Brendan said, by the way? Do you guys know that story? Brendan shared a story, again, talking too much. But he said on a podcast recently that Rogan wanted to call his store, his new comedy club, um, comedy store Austin in like honor of like Mitzi Shaw but then he found out that obviously the Shaw family owned the comedy store name and if he wanted to use that name he'd have to kind of cut them in and have them involved or license it or something like that and he didn't want to do that so he just named it the comedy mothership what do you guys think you think that's true <clears throat> I don't really think that is I don't know it seems a bit weird why would you want to call it the Comedy Store Austin? Why not just start your own thing? Why would you want to call it? I mean, it sounds strange. Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, I believe Paulie wanted to cut for sure. Paulie does seem like the type of person to weasel himself into a deal that he has no business being in just because he's fucking Paulie Shaw. Yeah, I mean, he, he already rid on the cocktails of his flipping mum's success anyway. And he's kind of mediocre career. So I'm sure he'd want to do it. But I don't think Rogan would want to call his new store, his new comedy club, Comedy Store Austin. That just sounds weird. Why would you want to do that? But yeah, that's a story that flipping um, Brendan um, put out there as per usual because his mouth moves too quickly.